السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو دی لیکچر آف دی کلاسیکل میکینکس ان دس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس دا سولوشن فار دا پرابلم نمبر سیون پوائنٹ ون ون وچ سی دیٹ اے پارٹیکل آف میس ایم اے پارٹیکل آف میس ایم از کنسٹرین ٹو مو آن دی سرکل آف ریڈیس آر دی سرکل روٹیٹ ان اسپیس اباؤٹ ون پوائنٹ آن دی سرکل وچ از فکسڈ द रोटेशन टेक्स प्लेस इन द प्लेन ऑफ द सर्कल ओके एंड विद कॉन्स्टेंट एंगुलर स्पीड इन द अबसेंस ऑफ ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स देयर इज ए नो ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स शो दैट द पार्टिकल मोशन अबाउट वन एंड ऑफ डायमीटर पासिंग थ्रू द पेवेट पॉइंट एंड द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल इज द सेम एज दैट ऑफ ए प्लेन पेंडलम ए यूनिफार्म ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड एक्सप्लेन वाई दिस इज अ रेजनेबल रिजल्ट ओके दिस वॉज the statement of our question and uh, if we look uh, back to the diagram of this question this look like that this is the particle which of mass m moving in the xy plane on a circle of radius some fixed and uh, for example if particle initial has particle position x when it start to move uh, it definitely it will move some with angular velocity phi or theta which is omega t and uh, its position will be changed by er to er prime and similarly its y coordinate will be changed from y to y prime so we can uh, represent its coordinate by the x and y solution for this problem is that we have draw a very rough diagram uh, for its particle motion in which this is our x coordinate and this is the y this is the particle which is moves some distance uh, theta and continuously revolving so let's say that the generalized generalized coordinate for such a system is defined as x uh, is equal to x is equal to r cos omega t plus as uh, cos theta plus omega t because initially its uh, angle was cos argument was cos omega t when it moves by some angle theta so it was changed to cos omega t plus cos uh, cos theta plus omega t because it moves some additional distance then for y similarly its y coordinate because it is x y uh, plane particle is moving x y plane when it start to move its y coordinate will be changed by same amount so y will be equal to r sin omega t plus r sin theta uh, plus omega t now we have x coordinate and y coordinate for this particle and we can find um, its x dot mean velocity along x and similarly velocity along y when take the derivative of x with respect to t and take the derivative of y with respect to t it will give us uh, vx and vy when we uh, differentiate the above equation mean one for example and this is equation two differentiate this will give minus r cos omega t derivative of cos omega t is minus omega sin omega t and similarly derivative of this and the derivation of equation second two will lead this equation okay then we can find the kinetic energy of this particle uh, as we have shown this thing the kinetic energy will be equal to m over 2 x dot ka square plus m over 2 y dot ka square now we have x dot and y dot so we can put uh, the value of x dot and y dot and take it square so it will give the total kinetic energy of the for this particle in this plane okay uh, this particle uh, you know that this particle is cons- uh, to be free particle because if we go back to statement this say that uh, the rotation take place in a plane and with constant this in the absence of gravitational force there is no external force when there is no force it means uh, our particles uh, Uh, has no potential energy it is unbounded and uh, it is the um, not in under the influence of any external force so particle will have no potential energy so just definite uh, very simple our uh, lagrangian will be equal to kinetic energy because lagrangian is equal to t minus u for this potential energy will be zero because no external force you know that potential energy is equal to f dot dr if f is zero potential energy will be equal to zero so our lagrangian will be just equal to kinetic energy now we have uh, 
by substitution this in the Lagrange. So it will give us, then we we'll put the value of x dot and y dot, it will give us omega square plus theta plus omega square minus 2 into theta plus omega cos theta. This is our required Lagrange equation. We can put also in very simplified, simplified form. Here I have shown it x dot square plus y dot square this will be r square omega square plus r phi square when you take the derivative put this into Lagrange equation then definitely we will need partial L over partial phi because partial L over partial phi term arises in uh, Lagrange equation and we have to take the derivative of partial L over partial phi dot because this uh, you know that Lagrange equation has d over dt partial L over partial phi dot and partial L over partial phi so we will need this term so when we put uh, these partial L over partial phi part d over dt and partial L over partial phi dot in Lagrange equation it will just like uh, I think Lagrange equation will give us d over dt partial L over partial phi dot minus partial L over partial phi so when we put that derivative in this equation it will give us theta double dot or phi double dot plus omega square sine theta is equal to zero uh, which is the same as that of the plane pendulum in its uniform gravitational fold which is the equation of plane pendulum of uh, any gravitational field and you know that uh, the last uh, the last question uh, the last statement of the question was i think so, this was the question why this is a reasonable result to answer this we have to state some welding which say that the reason why this makes a sense as the particle move on a circle it rotate about on the circle so it will rotate it will give the equation of a circle therefore at a certain instant the particle is the same point at momentarily at rest as the pendulum at the maximum amplitude because uh, this motion will be just like uh, harmonic motion at some harmonic motion the characteristic of simple harmonic motion is that at some point particle velocity is maximum and other point particle velocity is minimum at maximum point it will have zero velocity and at minimum point it will have uh, maximum velocity so this equation also uh, manifest that motion also so it is very analogous to the plane pendulums motions